are there any new menu items that might be hitting that? Mm. We have a... Phoenix, Arizona in general is growing by leaps and bounds every day. We have nearly 200 people that move here daily into Maricopa County, but one of the fastest growing corridors is the Norterra area. And I am joined now by a person that has been highly anticipated because of the restaurant that he is going to open. This is Jeff Miles. He is going to be opening up a Chick-fil-A in Norterra. Ah, this is where we have it. Everybody is so excited, Jeff. Well, we're really excited. We're excited to be here. Of course, we've been here for 15 years at Chick-fil-A Deer Valley, mm -hmm. uh, and many, many of many of our the Norterra community have joined us down there. Um, but we're super excited to be bringing a Chick-fil-A to Norterra. I know, and it's you drive by mm -hmm. every day. And now we're starting to see, you know, all the framing and it's like, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? So can you tell me, can you give me an idea of when it's going to open? Well, construction is moving along really quickly. Um, we, we, we have walls up uh, as of this week and uh, we're excited that it's going to be opening this summer. Um, we're, we're hoping for June, and uh, but we should have it open this summer um, and be, be ready to serve those delicious chicken sandwiches, waffle fries, nuggets, uh. and Lemonade. Just what I need. So, uh, yeah, my daughter's gonna be so excited about that. What made you decide on Norterra? I mean, what, what goes into deciding on a location? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, well, a, a big factor is the growth of the community. And so, as you mentioned, uh, we've got TSMC that's bringing a lot of growth to this area. Of course, the 303 um, and just the general growth of the Norterra area makes it an attractive, uh, attractive place for, for us to put a new Chick-fil-A location. Another really big factor is, is really the community support of our existing restaurants. And so in this case, Chick-fil-A Deer Valley um, has grown to such a, such a level that we almost can't fit everyone in there. And, uh, and so we, we've got we've to build another location to help ease some of that traffic. And uh, so we're, that's, that's a big factor. Yeah, and I can just imagine, I mean, it'll be great to get some of the organic traffic that's you know going to Prescott and Flagstaff and just all of that kind of through traffic and also service you know our area um, it's it's interesting to me how streamlined all of the chick-fil-a's have become as far as you know people being able to drive through and you know you really know how to get people in and out of there very quickly yeah well and we're really excited because our new this new location at chick-fil-a norterra will also have the uh, uh mobile lane we call it mobile through now um that that allows you to get your food even faster mm -hmm. um and that makes such a difference um you know helping us get people through quickly um but also make that really friendly uh warm experience uh that we know people expect from chick-fil-a yeah love to i love ordering on the app mm -hmm. and then just zipping through yeah i mean it's brilliant it's a great great way to so if you haven't already downloaded your app now's yeah. the time to get ready for chick-fil-a norterra yeah because yep. you also offer you know the more you use the app then you're incentivized points exactly yeah so you get free food and uh get heads up on on exciting things that we have coming so it's a great way yeah to yeah. interact with us and i know a lot of people have wondered about you know the traffic because that's becoming a little bit of an issue in our area i mean it's an issue in any growing area because obviously the city the infrastructures typically don't keep up with the growth but you know you guys are doing all you can to try to alleviate any unnecessary traffic and to also help in pushing you know the possibility of widening the roads things like that yeah yeah we've been in contact with the city of course you know letting them know hey we're building here uh, we know we're going to bring a lot of traffic to the area mm -hmm. and so you know certainly want to do everything we can to make sure the city's aware of that so they can they can stay ahead of that expansion path um, but of course the other thing that we'll do is we will uh, we will be prepared to move that drive through quickly so that folks can get through get back on the freeway if they're traveling um, or just you know just get back to their homes quickly um, and and so that that keeps that congestion off off the freeway so no doubt we will we will be ready for that yeah and you guys are always great 
community advocates involved in, you know, the schools and every community. And actually, you live in the area, you mm -hmm. know, you, you live just a couple of miles from where this new restaurant will be and just four or five miles from where the other one is. So you are actually a member of the community in which the restaurant is. Yeah. And I, I think that's one of the things we're so excited about personally, mm -hmm. uh, my family and I is, is being able to bring a Chick-fil-A to our right here in our local community. Um, and then all that allows us to do in terms of partnerships with schools. I and mean, we've got great partnerships with the Deer Valley schools. Um, Barry Goldwater, we've had a partnership there for years. Sandra Day O'Connor has been one of our, our great partners. Um, and, and so many of the other local schools, the, um, and, and then, uh, we, you know, we're able to do things as far as community food banks, um, mm -hmm. and, and offering or providing, you know, uh, food donations and things like that, um, that are, that are huge. We also do a ton with scholarships. Um, so oh. we provide scholarships, uh, both for, for, um, team members that work at Chick-fil-A, but mm -hmm. also community scholarships, um, that that's a huge thing that we can bring. And so, wow. uh, new locations just give us that much more of an opportunity to have an impact in the community. Something we love. And bringing jobs. Yes. Yep. How many do you have? I'm sure you do an idea about how many people you're going to need to hire for this yeah. location. We estimate that we'll hire around 150 people. Wow, uh, so provide 150 great. jobs. Yep. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, all that, you know, all of that growth is, is really, again, a reflection of um, how awesome the community support is. And so at Chick-fil-A, we're super grateful for, um, for this community and, and, and just how uh, welcoming um, it has been to Chick-fil-A. So. Yeah. And I, I mean, it, this, I'm not kidding when I said it's highly anticipated because everybody <laughs> is buzzing about when Chick-fil-A is going to open. We're so excited <laughs> because this area... Ha, Norterra, you know, which is just north of, of Phoenix, has really kind of been a desert when it comes to any type of dining, shopping as well. It's mm -hmm. all starting to come. But I think for years there was rumblings about like Chick-fil-A coming in and then it wasn't happening. And then finally everybody's yeah. just like, it's really happening. Well, like you said, I live here too. And uh, we're excited about all the expansion, all the new restaurants mm -hmm. that are coming. I mean, it's great to have, have great food options, especially on those sure. evenings when you've got soccer practice yeah. and baseball practice and, and you need a quick bite to eat. Uh, no, so nice to have those food options. Yeah. My kids are really excited about having a Chick-fil-A close by. We drive by it every day on the way to school. They don't get <laughs> enough Chick-fil-A from you bringing it home. They're pretty, they're pretty excited. They, uh, they, they would eat Chick-fil-A just about every day of the week. Yeah. So <laughs> and what I like about it, Jeff, is that you can get a salad there, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can get some decent food. You don't yeah. have to have, you know, you can get a grilled chicken sandwich. You can get, you know, there are definitely healthier options and that makes it really nice for an entire family. Yeah. That's a, something that's really important to us. Keeping our menu, um, balanced. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously you've got those things, you know, if you're craving those hot waffle fries, we've got those, but we've also got those balanced options like the kale salad, yep. fruit cups. And as you mentioned, our salads are delicious, they are, they are. Um, really filling too. So yeah. great options. Yeah. I love the salads. So really quickly, just kind of throwing it way back. Mm -hmm. How long have you owned your first restaurant? Yeah. 15 well, I, years you said? Yeah, we actually celebrated 15 years uh, in in um, November, and so uh, so I've been the operator of that restaurant for 15 years. Uh, my history with Chick Fil A goes back actually 27 years. Uh, so I was uh, I was in high school when I started working at Chick Fil A, wow. um, and and so been blessed to to be a part of this uh, company for a number of years yeah. um, and see a lot of different sides of the company, different, different roles and, and, um, you know, working as mm -hmm. really just a, uh, you know, a line employee and, mm -hmm. and, um, under did you work your way up then into management and then decided, you know what, I'd like to open my own franchise. Yeah. In fact, about 60% of our franchisees come from within the restaurant. And oh. so, um, so we think that's a really important part of our brand. Our culture mm -hmm. is that, that most of our franchisees really know what it's like to work in a restaurant. We have a passion for mm -hmm. service, for hospitality, for working in the restaurant industry. Honestly, my favorite thing to do is just to be in that dining room, um, talking to customers, mm -hmm. serving people, and just interacting with the community. So we have a passion for that. Um, and that's really why I got into this business. I love being in a restaurant, love serving a local community. It's, right. it's one of the things I get to do at Chick-fil-A, and I love that. So Well, and the customer service is excellent there. You know, people just know when they're in a Chick-fil-A that they're going to be greeted by, you know, somebody who is energetic and smiling and, you know, providing good service. And you don't feel like that 
at most restaurant chains. Well, I, I love hearing you say that. That means a lot. We, we are, um, we're so blessed. I mean, the, the incredible team members that come to work for us, I really, um, you know, I, I say it all the time. They are the heart of the Chick-fil-A experience and, uh, they are, they are some of the most incredible people in the world. I mean, the stories that I could tell you about, Mm -hmm. um, the acts of service that they do and just the way they care for our customers, um, they're incredible people. And so um, we're super blessed. It makes my job really easy. Oh, for sure. Um, but, but, you know, we're excited that we're going to add 150 new Chick-fil-A team members to that. Uh, what a fun thing to get to be a part of. So It's they- fantastic. And, you know, what I love about that is having lived here, you know, almost 17 years in this area, mm-hmm. you know, it's fun to go through a drive through and you see your kids, friends working there, yeah. people that you recognize from your, your community. That's really cool. I, I mean, I think that's one of the best things is, you know, we, we at Chick-fil-A, we talk about the, the power of local ownership and that local involvement. Mm-hmm. And so, um, yeah, that's something we can be really proud of is that, is that we're, we're providing that, uh, those growth opportunities. We actually have this really cool program um, called Junior Cares Captains, where mm-hmm. we bring in um, uh, junior um, like 15 and, uh, you know, under 16 year old students who get this opportunity to learn hospitality from an experienced Chick-fil-A team member. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's a, it's an internship program. And Mm -hmm. again, we love doing those things because it, it really pours back into, um, into the local community and something our community can be proud of. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. One last question though. Are there any new menu items that might be hitting that? Mm. We have a, now I can't tell you (laughs) what it is, but be on the lookout. We have a very, very exciting uh, menu option that a a sandwich, a new sandwich, which is very rare for us, that's going to be hitting this summer. So you'll be able to try it at the new restaurant. Okay. Um, and it, it's, uh, it's a spin on our classic sandwich, which we've never done before. So, uh, I've tasted it. It is, um, Epic is the word I would epic? use. Yeah, epic. It is. Uh, so if you love the original <laughs> Chick-fil-A sandwich, be on the lookout coming this summer. Oh my gosh. When someone calls a sandwich epic, yep. that's like, okay, we can't wait to see it. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate you being here. Again, we are so excited about Chick-fil-A opening up near us. We're thrilled about it. And hey, if you have any questions for me, or if you have any questions for Jeff, the owner of Chick-fil-A, Why don't you just go ahead and leave them below and I will make sure that I pass along any of the questions to him and we will answer them for you.